In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your page builder to create what's I think categorized as a chic style web design and we're going to be playing around with text and positioning in this video. Let me give you a quick sneak peek of what we're going to try to recreate. So we have a chic website right here where you have text overlapping an image. Right here we have text overlapping text and right here you have overlapping things. You have skewed text where it's just off at an angle. We're going to do all of that in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss a thing and YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. Okay, I got the links to these websites from the WP Crafter Facebook group. I'll try to remember to put a link in the video description box down below. Now I'm going to be using Elementor. However, the techniques that I'm going to show you and the little snips of, snippets of code, those will work in any page builder that you might be using. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. So I, I was not on the hunt for these designs. Uh, they were provided for me. And so well, let me just show you a couple things here and then show you how far I got it and then how to do it yourself. Okay, so we have text right here that's overlaying this image and you see a lot of that on the link to this website and I should put links to this in the video description box down below as well. Here we have text in this word need and then we have the word hosting underneath it. So you have this overlapping going on. I'm going to show you how to do that and then when we scroll down we also have it right here where it says hello and then it says join the newsletter. So I'm going to show you how to do that and next I made an attempt at at this I have some of the elements but I, I use the picture of me so it's not gonna look perfect so let's go ahead and see what I was able to do so here's where we have the overlapping text we have one the word need is aligned to the left hosting aligned to the right and then lift it up a bit then right here we have the word hello and then join the newsletter and then right here we have the skewed text this uses a little snippet of CSS that I'm gonna give you and then here we have it skewing a different way and and then a different way so you could do that and you can change the angle uh, it's very simple to do and then right here this is my lousy attempt at this right with the image the skewed text and then the bit of text here and then a button that overlaps I didn't spend too much time on it I could have probably chose a better image a lighter image so the text right here would have looked fine but that's okay I just was playing around with that so let me just tell you that all of this is going to be done by manipulating the margin that's the spacing outside of what you're working with the margin adding negative margin to pull things over other things. So in this case, the thing is text. So we're going to pull the text over text. And it's really simple once you understand margin and padding, but negative is really with margin only. That's how we're going to do all of these. So let's go ahead and jump on in and I'll just uh, go ahead and recreate it. All right, so let me uh, just, I'll go ahead and add a new section up here and I'll make it two columns like this so I can recreate that. And then what I did was I grabbed a heading right here and what I wanted to do was have a sort of a feminine looking font. Usually if I'm looking for a particular style of font, I'll go to Google and I'll do a search for it to find a list of Google fonts that might be suggested that meet this requirement that I have. So in this example, let me go ahead and see what font it was that I used. Right here I used the Playfair, that's right. So let me go here and I'll change the text to say hello just like that and then I'm gonna go into the style and then I'm gonna go here to where it says topography and I will go ahead and for the font I'm going to type Playfair and there it is Playfair display and so you can see that's how I got that and I added I changed the color a little bit so then I will right click duplicate this and then for the one underneath it, I'm gonna change the word to hosting, just like that. And then right here we have alignments, so I'm gonna align it to the right. Okay, so obviously I'm probably gonna to need to increase the size. Let me click back on this one, click on style, go back into topography, and then here I can dial in a larger 
font just like that so now I'm at 80 and then right here I'll click on that and I'll go ahead and maybe make that the same size let's just uh, dial this up to 80 just like that now all we need to do is change the color and then make it overlap so for the text color I can go here and I could start sliding this down just to soften it up that's a little harsh the blue but that's okay so then I'm gonna go to advanced and then right here's our margin this is what we're gonna manipulate to get it to overlap so I'm gonna click right here where this link is so that these values are not linked. And then for the top, I'm gonna to go and just hit the down arrow like that and just get a little overlapping. You can see now it's perfectly overlapped uh, to my liking and that's all there was to it. If I wanted the word hello to be on the top, I can click on hello. I can click on advanced and right here where it says Z index, I could put a number like the number one and now that is on top. So this Z index will control what is on top when you have overlapping elements. So if I just get rid of that, it will put that back down underneath. So that one is done already and you can see this, I did the same exact way. So I could go ahead, drag and drop my heading in there. I will type in hello. I'll go ahead and center it and I will choose the same topography option right here. There it is. I will go ahead and uh, increase the size of the font some like this. And let me go ahead and choose a more feminine looking color. Let's go right here and we'll go something yeah, that looks nice like that. And I can soften it up a little bit by dialing this down right there. There it is. So I've got my hello and then I can just go ahead and right click and duplicate it. And then right here, I'm going to type join the newsletter. And what I did to have a kind of a try to find a handwritten looking font, I just did a quick Google search. It took me to this page right here and I, I chose the best Google handwriting font or Google handwriting font just so I can grab a name. And then when I scroll down, you can see it's showing me all of these these fonts that are similar to handwriting that are already available in your particular page builder. And I think I settled on, well, it doesn't matter what I said. This was it, a uh, seaweed script. So let me go back and then I'm going to go here to my style. I'm going to go here to font and I'll choose that seaweed script. And there it is. Uh, let me just go ahead and add a bit of uh, spacing there. There we go. So now we've cleared off the canvas. So there we go. So now what I would do is I would go in here and I would go back into the font. I'd maybe make that a little smaller and I would change the color a little bit. Let's soften that up a little bit like that. I really don't like how thick it is. So let's go ahead and change the weight to something thinner. That's a 100 weight. And now I'm going to go into advanced. I'm going to click on the link right here to unlink it. And then I'll start pulling it up. So it's just on top of it like that. Actually, I think it looks better a little lower like that. There we go. So join the newsletter and there it is. Join the newsletter. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is playing around with that. So you can see I've added CS, uh, well, I've added an effect to kind of change the angle of the text that said join the newsletter letter and this is very simple so let me go ahead and click into the text right here that says join the newsletter I'll click on advanced now this is one thing where it's more convenient if you have a page builder like Elementor that has Elementor Pro I'll have a link down below you could still do this if you don't have Elementor Pro but the way I did it used Elementor Pro which allows me to put custom CSS right there on the particular module I'm using. So when I click on custom CSS, this is the custom CSS that I was able to enter. Now, if you're not using Elementor Pro or you're using a page builder that does not allow you to put the CSS right there, that's okay. You could actually take this snippet of CSS and put it inside of your customizer. So what you would do is I'll, and I'll have this in the video description box down below so that you could just copy and paste it. I'll also have a blog post for this video. So this is formatted right now to be able to allow you to rotate it right here, skew it right here, or to uh, scale it right here. It's kind of stretched a little bit, uh, but most of the time you'll probably just use this for rotating. So you'll be able to do that 
and just copy and paste it. But if you're using a page builder, you can't put the CSS, you would just enter a what's called the CSS class right here. You could name it a uh, text tweak or something like that. Uh, real simple. And then you could copy and paste this into the custom CSS area of your customizer. And then right here underneath advanced, where it says CSS classes right here, you would just enter the whatever you named that class. So if you named it text tweak, you would do it here and it would immediately be applied. I know that's a little technical and I'm sorry, some of the, these, these things just are going to be. So uh, anyways, so if you have Elementor Pro, you type selector bracket, you type transform colon rotate and then right here oops that was not what I wanted uh, and right here you would put the degree so right now I have it at minus 5 if I put that uh, 1 in there now it's minus 15 uh, minus 25 so you can see I'm rotating this all I want uh, right there so you can make that be whatever you want and then I have these other parts of the CSS I have a hashtag right there that means that it's not going to be implemented but if I was to remove the hashtag or the pound sign and I do that it would implement implement that as well for this particular module right here. Uh, so that's how you get this skewed text. So I'll have the CSS right there for you. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you how to do that uh, if you don't have Elementor Pro or you're using any other page builder just to make it simple. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on update. So right here where it says join the newsletter, I'm gonna come back and I will uh, make that skewed a little bit. So what I'm gonna have to do is get out of uh, Elementor here. This is totally off the cuff. I wasn't planning on doing this in the video, but I wanna make this accessible to everybody. I'm gonna go to appearance, I'm gonna go to customize, and then what I'm gonna do is scroll down to where it says custom CSS, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right on in. Here it is, additional CMS, CSS. I'll click on that and I can go ahead and paste this there, but I'm gonna put that uh, uh, name like I was saying. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna call it text tweak. Okay, there it is, text tweak. And then these two, I'm just gonna do the transform. So now when I enter in text tweak, maybe I should have put text transform. It doesn't matter. Uh, it'll take it that five degrees. So I'm gonna click on publish. So now I've got this custom CSS in there that you could just copy and paste. Let me get out of here and then get back into Elementor. So you would go ahead and put that into your theme and then you can do this, what I'm gonna show you in any page builder. I know Beaver Builder, Divi, all of them have this breezy. Okay, so here's the piece of text that I wanna tweak. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on advanced. And for CSS classes, I'm gonna type text tweak. And watch what happens. I'm gonna put the last letter in and watch the text. I click that in and it's skewed. So that's, this is how you could do the same thing with the custom CSS without using Elementor Pro. It's just a little more convenient doing it with Elementor Pro, but it doesn't matter. So you see we got the same thing. So I'm using that same text tweak technique right here and I'm using the margin to move it off to the left and have it overlapped on my image. I'm doing the same bit here with the button and that's pretty much all there is to manipulating text to try to get a bit more of a chic feel where, I mean, this is a very modern design trend having overlapping elements and it's actually extremely simple to do. Now, there are a couple of caveats is you definitely want to make sure you know what that's gonna look like on a tablet and a mobile device and you might need to make some adjustments there to that same margin setting so it looks exactly how you want it on a mobile device. Lastly, Elementor, one of the really nice features of Elementor, and it's the only one that really has this, they have this feature called the Navigator. When you're having lots of overlapping elements, the Navigator is gonna be huge at helping you select exactly what you're trying to manipulate. And the Navigator is this icon here on the bottom left, you click on it, and then this is it right here. So when you go here, you can get into the exact element that you want using the navigator. Those are the only two tricks that I have or tips to go along with it. Hey, if you found some value in this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Don't have Elementor Pro? Visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor Pro and uh, that will take you to a page on my website
website where I give you this course if you were to buy it. Uh, it's a great deal. Uh, so that will be down below in the video description or you could just go straight over there. If you have any questions about anything in this video, and you might because I went a little bit fast through the custom CSS stuff, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back with you to you in a day or two. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope to make more just like this and I will see you in the next video.